classes uh, it just you know uh, the basics are done basics and everything covered i'm going to write a test ng format only other uh, actions class methods also and examples so you just go to the uh, most popular right okay actions class Yeah, this is the one. So actions class uh, so is very famous uh, in Selenium because uh, it, it is going to help you to do mouse and keyboard actions through Selenium. So in Selenium, how can you use mouse and keyboard? This actions class will help you. Like, you know, you want to perform a right click operation, you want to perform a left click, you want to double click, you want to drag and drop the movable objects in the web page, you want to send keys from the keyboard, and you want to press particular key, or you want to release the particular key. All these operations you can achieve with this actions class. So. Actions class mainly is to handle mouse and keyboard actions. So org dot open key dot selenium dot interactions. So that's the package. This actions class is available. So first method is click method. So how to perform the click operation. So the, you can just you know, click on the element or you can click on the where mouse is available. That's a click is two forms here. You can click on the element or you can click on the mouse. where the mouse is available. That's a click action. So you can take it up. And uh, next one is, uh, so if you want to see very clearly all the methods, see that uh, click without parameters, click with the parameter. So that means you can click where the mouse is there. You can click on the element also. Next, click and hold. So click and hold, basically you can, uh, Click and it won't release. So it is not going to release the so mouse. So that's a click and hold without parameters. Where the mouse is there, it will click and hold. Another click and hold is web element. It will click on the element and it won't release. So these are the two, right? So same method names. What you call this? What whoops concept is this? Overloading. 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 A class contains same, same methods, same but a different, different method parameters. That is called oops method. concept method overloading. You can tell examples of all this. If they ask you where the this uh, no method overloading you have used, give me examples. Means you can tell this. So all these are new. You they will ask you comparing that and this one both. Okay, so Java, where you used Java in your Selenium? Tell me. So that's what uh, no, they will focus. And you need to tell those uh, no, so things very clearly. Okay. Any questions? Awesome. Okay, so 
where do we use this click and hold usually like click and hold is wherever you want you have a mobile objects or you want to just click the one element and you want to hold it you don't want to release that element mobile objects are there you want to move from one place to other place oh drag use this click and hold so like and, uh... no when you want to drag so this this yeah. will help you okay okay so then uh, context click so context click basically perform the right click operation so where the mouse is there there you can perform the right click operation by this one and context click of web element element so it will perform the right click operation on the element so on the element then so double click so double click basically uh, you can double click on the element so when you double click it will select right in the edit box or somewhere right if yeah. you just double click on this so it will select so that maybe different double click operations you will use in the web page you can call this method if so it is double click with the web element also sorry if it is a link if we double click it will open no you don't need to double one click is enough for the link right oh, okay so, so two doesn't need okay mm -hmm. Okay. So perform say double click uh, at the middle of the given element and uh, drag and drop. So web element source, web element target, source and target. So drag and drop. This drag and drop method basically uh, drags the source and drop at the target. So that's the drag and drop method. So if you have a source element, you know, and target element, you know. So you move the source into target. If you want to do that, you have to call drag and drop method directly. Otherwise, there is a three methods combination that one. I'll show you that. What are the three methods combination? Can you mute uh, if you don't mind? So you're not talking, just please go on mute. Okay, so drag and drop by. So web element source, comma, into x coordinate and into y coordinates. x, y coordinate basis, you want to drag and drop. Then you can use a drag and drop by method. And uh, key down you want to press particular key so it won't release so this won't release then you can use key down it just presses the key that's it if you want to release you need to call key up key up which key you want to release so you mentioned keys is the enum enum and constants constant name you call how to access a enum enum constants enum name dot constant name basically this keys enum contains all the keyboard keys so this keys enum contains all the keyboard keys let me show you selenium dot dev i'm just going to the uh, documentation of selenium so how to go to documentation api docs so go to downloads api docs and here frames, and here you have all your classes and uh, you no know, interfaces of Selenium. Now, And uh, so we are looking for keys, right? Look for keys, key. Keys enum. I want to show you keys enum. So this is the enum name, keys. So enum is a Java concept. So enum basically contains 
all the constants. Now here, all the keyboard constants. See this? All to arrow down, arrow left to arrow right to arrow up, backspace, cancel, clear, command, control, delete, divide, down, end, enter, equals, escape, F1 to F12, and help, home, insert, left and left, all left, shift, left, control. So multiply, null, num, numbers, page down, page up, pause, return, right to, so semicolon, separated, all the keys, every key is present in the key you know. If you want to call keyboard keys, so how to call? You send them with a send keys method, or you can use, you want to press the particular key, use key down or key up. So key down for pressing the key and key up is for releasing that key. So key down is overloaded again here. See with one parameter here with the two parameters. You can press the particular key on this element also. And a key up key start key name. So key up web element. And so if you use this key down, you have to use this key up. If you use this single parameter key down, you have to use a single parameter key up for releasing the key. And uh, next we have uh, move by offset. Move by offset. So int x coordinate and y coordinate. So move to element. Move to element. So web element, element. And move to element. Web element, element, x coordinate, and so this is the very important method. Move to element method. What it will do is it will move the cursor to a specific element. So, like you know, you have menus. If you want to handle menus, you should move the cursor there. You should not click that. So that menu handling is done by mainly by this method, move to element method. Move to element method only will help you. That's the move to element method purpose. And even so, uh, there is a move by offset. There is one more method, move by offset. So move by offset method, what it will do is, it will move the cursor with the given x coordinate and y coordinate. How can you get the element x coordinate and y coordinate? Get location. Hmm. So get X and get Y, right? Get that X. that you yeah. will use it. So now, and uh, so let's see. Next, we can see now uh, release method. So I want to cover perform I'll come uh, release method. So if you use click and hold, you have to use a uh, release method. And there is a send keys method. You can send the keys, how many keys you want. You can, this is the optional parameters. How many you want, you can send it. And then you have a, so perform method. Every method after you have to call the perform method, mandatory. So otherwise it is uh, not going to finish the action. So how to use all these methods? First, create object for actions class, actions act equal to new actions of driver. And then this object reference dot, 
and method name, then you can chain the perform method. Every method after you have to call, you have to chain the perform method. So if you are not calling the perform method, this action won't be completed. So that's the how to use this actions class methods. So there is one more build method. So you want to uh, know have multiple actions on the same element. That means you are generating more actions on the same element. Then build method will be used. Then on that composite action, you call the perform method to finish all the actions. So like, for example, first you have to create object for actions class. Actions class, uh, it has a parameterized constructor. Driver you have to pass to the actions class object. And uh, so action interface, the variable, composite uh, variable, action class object reference dot method one dot method two dot method three dot method four like that multiple methods you are calling then you have to use build method build method always returns a action interface actions is a class action is a an mm -hmm. interface so then this composite action dot perform method that's a Perform method is mandatory for every action after. So otherwise, your action not finished properly. So that's the complete perform method when to use mandatory to use every action class method after uh, perform method. That's the last one you have to use. Okay. So that's all about uh, this. So actions class. And so Monday we'll see uh, these programs. So next week we are going to close the Selenium, uh, complete Selenium, and then we'll start the framework. So we're going to start the framework and uh, framework will take uh, two weeks, minimum two weeks. Definitely it will take two weeks. Uh, Git to GitHub, Jenkins, so everything will come there how to design the framework. And then uh, final one is uh, API automation. So using REST assured, I'll show you that. Postman will do, uh, you already attended for Postman, but still we'll do one more time uh, for the new batch people also. And because I'm giving multiple times, if you practice, maybe you will uh, at least get perfection on the API. API testing. API testing is common nowadays because all the companies are working microservices. Microservices means APIs only. Okay. Yeah. Thank you. See you. And uh,